Hi, and welcome to the next video on the business console for merchant use. Today, I'm going to be covering how we create products and billing models for these products. So just to recap from where we left off last time, we had connected our treasury wallet and our gas wallet, and we decided to explore the business console in test mode using, using the testnet network. So we'd also topped up our gas wallet with test ETH, and we had topped up our mobile wallet with test PMA. So if you notice here, the test PMA that we'd added to our mobile wallet is now also visible in our treasury wallet. This is to be expected as we connected our mobile wallet and the treasury wallet together. And we needed to add the test PMA to our mobile wallet in order to act also as the customer in our test environment. But just keep in mind that in a real payment environment in mainnet, we wouldn't see the PMAs here until we'd received them as payment from a customer. So now we want to move on and create our first billing model. And to do that, we need to first create a product to make a, this billing model for. So we need to head over to products here and then select new product. So I'm here in the new product page and I can see the information I need to fill in about my product. So I'm gonna start at the top here with the product image. I'm just gonna drag and drop my product image in here. I'm just gonna adjust it to fill, fit in the screen. So you need to make sure that you use your image in one of the accepted file formats and up to a max size of one megabyte. So I'm gonna choose my product name, which is I'm gonna say is the Puma Pay How To Guide. And I'm gonna choose my product category. So you can see here the product category description and tags are optional, but you want to include as much information as possible for any potential customers. So I'm going to choose my product category here as online media, and I'm just going to describe my product as helping you learn more about how Puma Pay is reinventing everyday payments crypto technology. And I'm just going to add some product tags here, like crypto. I'm just going to press the enter to create the new product tag. Education and how to. So you can include up to 10 tags. So I'm just going to include three for now, just for the purposes of this tutorial. Then I'm going to go ahead and click create product. Okay, so I can see now my list of products and I have my Puma Pay how to guide as my product and I can see the total earnings, the active customers, the number of billing models, and the day it was created. So I currently have no billing models for this product, so I want to change that and add a new billing model. So what I'll do is I'll just click on the product, and I'm taken to the product overview. And here I can see a bit more about what my product is and all the potential billing models, which at the moment is none. So to add a new one, I need to click on this new button here. And I'm taken to a page where I can see all the billing models I can choose from. So I have single, dynamic single, top up, subscription, and single plus subscription. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be selecting a single pull payment, which means I can accept a one-time payment from my customers with a fixed price. So I'm gonna select that and then click continue. So here I just can need to fill in some details about my billing model. For example, the internal reference name, so just what we refer to this inside my business. The billing model name, which I'm gonna say is a single download. And my description. So I just wanna briefly explain what my billing model offers. So I'm gonna say that it offers a one-time download. Oops. Of the Puma Pay. how to guide. So here I can see how it would look on the mobile app and I'm just going to press continue. So here I'm taken to a page where I can set how much I would like to receive for this billing model and I have currencies to choose from for example US dollars, euros, the Great British Pound and Japanese yen. So I'm just going to select dollars for now and I'm just going to put in one cent. 
So here I can see the PMAs I would receive from the customer based on the currency I've selected and its exchange rate. So then I'm going to press continue. And here I can just be pulled up about the gas fees. So I can see the gas fees that I can be expected to pay for each transaction and each payment I receive using this billing model. So once you've read everything here and you're happy with that and you are happy that you have enough ETH in your gas wallet, you can select publish. Okay, so I've just been taken to the billing model overview where I can see all the details I've just specified about my brand new billing model. And below this, I can see a few tools I can use to integrate this billing model into my website. So first I have a preview of the QR code here. And this is what customers will scan in order to bring up the contact, contract details that are just specified here. So to embed this QR code into my website, all I need to do is copy this snippet and then paste this into the HTML of the website I'd want to display the QR code on. So there's no editing or coding necessary, just a quick copy and paste job here. So below this, I have the deep link for mobile. And this link I can just use on my mobile and it has the same functionality as the QR code. So again, you just need to copy this link here and paste it into your website. And the same goes for the payment button. So we have a range of colors of, for the payment button depending on the aesthetic of your website. So if you're not sure how to brand the payment button or the other features with the Puma Pay system, we do have branding guidelines available. So I'll make sure that link is accessible to you. So just remember that the QR codes generated in mainnet will first need to go through approval with our compliance team. So this feature here might be disabled until you get this confirmation, but you can go ahead and embed any testnet QR codes into your website to see how the system would work. This is what I want to go ahead and do now. And I want to act as the customer buying PMA, buying a product or service in PMA. So I'm in my mobile wallet here and I've just added a few more test PMA and test ethers into my account. If you're not sure how to do this, have a quick look at our previous video where we go through this in a bit more detail. So I want to act as the customer who's just seen the QR code and wants to pay for the product or service in PMA. So here I'm just going to enlarge the QR code and on my mobile wallet app as the customer, I'm going to press the blue button here and I'm going to just scan this QR code. So here at the top, I can see my account balance and I can see all the details about the smart contract I'm about to confirm. So I'm happy with everything. I'm going to press confirm here. So once I press confirm, it said thank you for subscribing. So I'm just going to press OK here. And then I'm taken to the smart contracts page in the app where I can see the transaction going through in the active tab. And now that it's completed, it's moved over to the pass tab. So if I click on the transaction, I can again see the details about the smart contract with an external link to the transaction history. So if I go back to the home page now, I won't see the movement of PMAs as in this case, I've created a loop between the customer sending the payment and the merchant receiving it as I'm acting as both. But again, the purpose of this was to see the process that the customer would go through and to check that everything was working with the QR code. So I'm happy that is all working correctly. And if you've been following along with me, congratulations, you've just created your first billing model and you're ready to start receiving payments from customers in PMA. So be sure to check out our other onboarding resources and on behalf of the PumaPay team, I'd like to extend a warm welcome on board.